everybody. We're here at Cedar Steaks and Oysters, Foxwoods Resort and Casino, Mash and Tucket, Connecticut. So Cedar's was one of two steakhouses here. It was this one in David Burke, and now they have Hell's Kitchen. But if you're gonna go to a steakhouse at Foxwoods, I would suggest coming here. And we're gonna show you why. I'm just going to do water. George, give it whatever you want. Yeah, Peroni by any chance? No, we do. Heineken. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, Any specials tonight? No specials, but unfortunately there's two small subtractions. Okay. We don't have the Tortelletti appetizer, and the Bronzino entree doesn't have any. Okay. Okay. So I think we'll start with the chicken lollipops. Okay. The garlic parmesan or the buffalo? What do you want, George? Do you want the garlic parmesan or spicy buffalo? Garlic bar. That's fine. And then the jumbo crab cake, that's all made fresh. Yes. Try that. And I'd like to get a wedge salad. Or wait, maybe pickled beet. How is that? That's probably really good, right? I like that. I'll try that instead today, yeah. I'll take a wedge salad and a wedge salad. All right, I'll go ahead and get that all ordered up for you. We'll do a baked French onion soup as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Have you decided on entrees? Can we do the salmon? The salmon? Yeah. I'll do the pork tenderloin, please. Pork tenderloin. Yes, yes please. Okay. All right, so chicken drummies. So what they actually do is they cut off the little bit of the end and they wrap, they, they pull the, the skin back and wrap it over the chicken. So it looks cooked perfectly. The cheese is just hanging on, or that's a piece of hair. It better not be. They, just, they did these perfectly. I think this is a big problem for a lot of people that cook chicken wings or drumsticks. You have to cook them long enough that they fall off the bone like this. These are very good. Seasoned perfectly. That's about as clean as I'm gonna get. I'm happy with it. So, looking at the crab cake first, it's actually not very thick compared to some crab cakes that I've had. I actually like the delicate sear they have on it. The light sear. It makes the, the crab very delicate on top. It's actually really good. But I'd like a little bite in the, I don't know, whatever that stuff is. It's almost just like a mayo. And they, some aioli or something, I'm not sure. Yeah, there's nothing, in, nothing to it. But, virtually all crab, as it should be. I would rather have the ones at Hugo's, but this is lighter, not as heavy. Hey, these are the nights as a server, you're like, I just wanna go home. All right, the beet salad, a little bit of citrus on top. What do we got, golden beets, red beets, cheese on the bottom. What kind of cheese is that? Like a burrata? I think it's good, it's light. It doesn't meet the diplomat. Beat the diplomats. That's good cheese. Yep, that is good. I like David Burke's wedge a little better than this one. 
this is what French onion soup is supposed to be like, right? Where it's baked, where you hardly can wash the bowl after. So how do you wash these, George? Do you have to just scrub the heck out of them? Soak, let it soak. Does it come right off after? Mm -hmm. It does. How often did you have to do dishes? I mean, that's how you, most of us start in the, in the kitchen, right? A little kid cleaning, washing the dishes. So I did for my grandma, yeah. Yep. So the French onion soup, I would, again, I've had a lot of the tomato base, but I love the broth based. I would much rather have this. The key to that soup is a good deal stock. Really? You just make is brown sugar a big ingredient in this? Sometimes it's so sweet. It's all the onions. It's oh, yeah. The onions cook all the way down. Have you done the Vitamix beef, onion, beef, beef French onion soup? No. No, no. Yeah. How's business been here? You guys been busy? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a little slow Wednesday, Thursday, you know, but. Yeah. You know, weekends definitely. It's like put your roller skates on and go. <laughs> did, you, did you think Hell's Kitchen was going to hurt you guys? I mean, when they first open any new place here, mm -hmm. it's going to draw business. That's, that, that's everyone. Because yeah. everyone wants to try it. And then eventually it just all kind of evens out. Yeah. You know, I've, I've seen so many restaurants open here. Yep. And the same thing happens yep. every time. New place, everyone wants to try it. They go a couple times, then okay, the newness wears off, and then they start, you know, going around to different places. Yeah, again. just the way it is. I'm blown away that Golden Dragons only open like three days a week. I know. How do you pay for that place? That place, the food there. I don't know if you've ever eaten there or not. It's incredible. It's on. It's phenomenal. It, yeah, it, I love it. It is the best, like the best general style chicken. Yeah. Around. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. I don't know how you keep employees only working them a yeah, few days a week. Crazy. Well, that's that's like here. We're, we're scheduled four days a week. Oh, you only four days here. Wednesday. Wow. We're, we're scheduled four days a week, and of that. Yeah. Sometimes you're a dining room server. Sometimes you're a lounge server. Yeah. Sometimes you're a lunch server. A food runner during the day, a food runner during the night, yeah. and it all rotates. So you're doing every job, you know, it yeah. just rotates. Hmm. But Thank you. Oh, well, that looks great. Thank you. All right, pork tenderloin with a white cheddar risotto. I'm going to start with that. I love a good risotto, but it's all right. It's okay. And they are putting the, the bacon in there, too. So I don't think I've ever had the pork here. I think it's good. I would rather do pork than beef early than in a trip. A little bit lighter on my stomach, but I like the I like the sear on the pork. No, it's a good dish, and this is actually about as rare as you're gonna have it for for uh, pork. They didn't cut them the day they did them, though. That bothers me. Like a little citrus on it, on the drizzle. Like a mustard vinaigrette. You know what could have used? Right at the end of the Brussels sprouts? Just like a really coarse sea salt. Mm -hmm. That would have been it. Yeah, the kids will eat like any vegetable I put in front of them now. That's cool. Well, they, they don't like to always, but I don't give them a choice. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah. That's how my mom was. <laughs> just eat it for breakfast the next day. He's like, I'm not eating that shit for breakfast. <laughs> you know, what yeah. happened? How did the chef do? Fantastic. Good, good yeah. thank you. Very good. So, I think it's cooked perfectly, but 
just there's not a ton of flavor in it. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Are you getting the same notes uh, in the French onion soup with that with the demi glaze? No, it's almost like a barbecue. Okay. Really get the smokiness on that. I'm gonna say it's cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. This is 30 bucks. A lot of food. And usually when I'm like, like I haven't eaten all day, the flavors of the food will just explode in my mouth. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't here tonight, I didn't think on stuff, but the, the soup was good. And I'll talk about it a little bit. But. All right, so the total was $163. Plus tax, so 174.39. We gave him a $40 tip. It's about 25% tip. Service was fine. It was nothing special. Um, go back. The crab cakes were good. The chicken lollipops were good. The wedge and the beet salads, they were okay. The French onion soup was really good. George loved the salmon, and I thought the pork tenderloin. It was cooked perfectly. I really liked the char on it. Uh, the risotto was good. Um, would have liked a little bit more flavor in the main dish, but uh, it was another good experience here. It's definitely a must try if you're out here at Foxwoods. Again, I'll take this place any day over David Burke, sorry. Um, still something totally different than Hell's Kitchen next door, but they have a lot of different menu items or a lot of different options on the menu. And they actually have uh, seafood when you walk in on ice and you can sort of see what you're getting. So. Uh, it's another option. Um, fresh oysters you can have here. We've had that many times, but get here. Definitely try the French onion soup, the baked French onion, and let me know what you think. If it's as good as I think it, because it's one of the better, one of the best French onion soups that I've had anywhere. But another place, Jason was there. It's a definitely, it's a must try. Out of five, it's probably. Steakhouse, we're going by 0.5. It's probably a 3.5, um, but it's still a good place to try. And for me, if you guys don't know, like people are like, how do you you rub it in her face that you spend so much money at these restaurants? You got to realize, at the level that I gamble, everything is comps. So all I do is I room charge it, and they cover it. The only thing that Foxwoods does not cover are tips, but they will cover alcohol here, cover all your food. So we take advantage of that and. Try we try all the new restaurants and uh, you guys get to see it all. And it's actually not money out of my pocket. All I need to do is play, gamble. So that's what I got for you. But it's another place that Jason was there. And make sure you're subscribed and you're following, depending what platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. That's everything for now for Jason was there. but. Make sure you're following, you get notifications when videos come out and when we go live. Thanks for watching. Time to gamble.